Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is Travis P11 and today we're going to be doing yet another coffee test. We're going to be trying the Blackout Coffee Company Smooth Finish. This is either part three or part four in the series where we're testing all the different coffees that are made by Blackout Coffee Company. Now, if you're not familiar with Blackout Coffee Company, they are a small family run business. Uh, they specialize in small batches and Smooth Finish is one of the five varieties that they have to offer. And now they also offer a decaf version too. And to brew this up this morning, we're just going to go ahead and use the bean grinder, regular drip brewer. Probably going to focus on about one major tablespoon per, per six ounces. We're roughly going to be putting uh, eight tablespoons in the uh, coffee maker. And we're just going to try it out and see how the flavor is. Now, the other varieties that, uh, Blackout, man, that Blackout makes roast, they're uh, medium roast and dark roast, and this is their light roast offering. So the beans are Central and South American. Uh, supposedly has a lightly toasted flavor to the, uh, to the coffee itself and uh, just a nice balanced amount of acidity. Something you should be able to finish off your day with or start your day with if you're somebody that doesn't like a heavy smoky dark roast. So let's go and check out the beans for starters. Again, uh, once you order these, you get them just a few days after you order them. I've noticed the beans have a little bit of oil on them and they do smell fresh. Uh, they're not dried out, which is always a good thing. Oh, really has a real rich aroma initially when it first hits you. Uh, not, too, not too smoky. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you do kind of notice that kind of that toasted smell too, which is it's it's a little bit lighter than what we find with some of their medium and dark roasts. So we're going to go ahead and grind this up. We're going to go ahead and brew it, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, by the way, through the 18th of February, uh, Blackout Coffee Company is going to be offering 20% off uh, all their orders on their website, and they're celebrating President's Day. So when you go to check out, if you click on President 20, you'll get 20% off your order. And in the honesty of uh, full disclosure, Blackout Coffee Company did send me this uh, sample of coffee to bring to you on the channel. Uh, there will be an affiliate link in the description box down below. If you click on that, a small portion of the sale does come back to the channel and I can put it into all the things that we have to offer. If you're not familiar with my channel, check it out. I've got all kinds of different videos and so on. So, Blackout Coffee Company Smooth Finish. Let's go ahead and grind it up. Let's get it brewing. We'll do a taste test and we will go from there. All right, guys, so we're back. The coffee is all ready to go. The house smells fantastic. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't realize about light roast coffee is that it can actually have just as much, if not more, caffeine than darker roast. A lot of it has to do with the caffeine itself that's contained within the natural oils in the bean. Uh, the longer that you roast those beans, the more of those oils that you burn up or dissolve. So it is possible to have a light roast coffee that's just as potent. Now, a lot of it has to do with the bean varieties and how the coffee's been bread, I guess you could say, and, and, and harvested and raised. A lot of that has to do with the uh, natural caffeine content of the beans themselves. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Again, it uh, looks a lot darker than you would imagine for a light roast, but when you pour it, uh, it definitely starts to, uh, starts to change. All right, let's try this. Oh yeah, that is definitely tangy. Definitely, that's one of the first things that you notice on it. The aroma is really good. Well, that is crisp. That is very, very crisp. Um, just a little tiny bit bitter on the back end, but it's not anything that uh, is going to be off-putting or makes you not want to uh, drink it. You know, I do like that. I could definitely see that as a nice evening cup. Again, if you're not somebody who wants something really overly bold or smoky or, you know, like any kind of a dark roast for that matter, this would definitely be the way to go. It really reminds me of a lot of the blonde roast that I've had before too. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one two thumbs up. We're going to go ahead and finish the pot <laughs> over the course of the day today and I'll let you know how it goes. But Blackout Coffee Company, smooth finish. This is very good stuff. Again, if you want something that's got a completely different character than the uh, dark roast or even the medium roast that you're used to, why don't you go and give it a try. Again, through the 18th of February, Blackout's got 20% off, so make sure you use that code. Uh, click on the affiliate link and you should be all set to go. Otherwise, I think we're good. I'm going to continue working on this. And, and again, just delicious coffee, great coffee all the way around. This is the fourth or fifth variety I've tried so far, and it's been really good. We've got the, uh, let's see, the cold brew coming up next. We'll be making that in the next video. So if you like the channel, please like or subscribe. Got a lot of content coming your way. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on gunchannels.com. I've got a podcast coming up here in uh, about 45 minutes. Uh, Saturday morning here at 8 a.m. Central Time called the Caliber Corner. Got that coming up too. So uh, please subscribe to the channel, check it out. And guys, as always, we will talk to you soon. So have fun, be safe, drink lots of coffee. Bye bye.